Well, it's hard to believe we're exactly three weeks away from Election Day, and we continue to bring you in-depth coverage of the candidates running for important offices on the Western Slope. Tonight, we're bringing you an exclusive interview with the Republican candidate for Colorado's 3rd Congressional District, Lauren Boebert. She upset 10-year congressional veteran Scott Tipton in the June 30th primary, winning 55% of the Republican vote. Our Adrian Thomas sat down with Boebert recently to discuss her campaign and key policy issues. I am here to say hell no, you're not. So all you're going to do is restrict law-abiding citizens like myself. That was Lauren Boebert in fall 2019, confronting then-presidential candidate Beto O'Rourke about his plan to buy back assault rifles at a rally here in Colorado. Boebert says that encounter, combined with her efforts in gathering signatures to ask Colorado voters this November to repeal the state's law regarding the National Popular Vote Compact, are some of the main reasons why she's running for Congress. During that time when I was working with the people to save our votes for president, I heard the frustration, I saw the frustration, uh, that was taking place in, in so many hearts uh, in our district. And shortly after that, uh, Beto O'Rourke came to Colorado, and I learned that if I take a stand and speak up for what I believe in, I can affect and represent millions. Boebert is in a huge race against Democrat Diane Mitch Bush, a former Route County Commissioner and State Representative from Steamboat Springs. A key issue in this campaign is health care. Diane Mitch Bush says Boebert wants to repeal the Affordable Care Act. Boebert says she won't let Americans lose their current health care and that her opponent is for Medicare for all and kicking people off their insurance plans provided by employers. That's an accusation Mitch Bush denies. If there is a Republican majority in Congress, does this mean amending the Affordable Care Act or does it mean just crafting new legislation that's a totally different plan? What do you well, think? Well, first and foremost, uh, I wouldn't vote on any legislation that takes insurance away from the American citizens. Uh, and if you look at socialized medicine, immediately 150 million Americans would be kicked off of their private insurance plan. Um, this is uh, this is not good, um, but we we need to we need to have sensible solutions that don't involve the government stepping in and making decisions for us. We have made promises to the American people with pre-existing conditions, and me and many other Republicans are on the record saying that we will uphold those promises that were made. Boebert has also been the subject of attack ads from the Democrat Congressional Campaign Committee, or the DCCC. The political group has highlighted her run-ins with law enforcement in years past, which includes minor arrests. Boebert says she's not worried about this. I'm not worried about it. Um, talk about making a mountain out of a molehill. Uh, you know, I, I had a traffic accident where I self-reported it. There were no injuries. There was no alcohol. I forgot to pay my ticket. I paid the $100 fine. Got a pretty little mugshot that the DCCC loves to use. A big question facing congressional candidates like Boebert right now is COVID-19 legislation and how they might address the pandemic if elected. Right now, federal lawmakers stay stalled over the next COVID-19 stimulus bill. After the election, um, if there's more COVID-19 legislation, uh, COVID-19 aid, what would you like to see in there? What's something that a lot of constituents around the congressional district have been talking to you about? First and foremost, I think the best stimulus package is to get America open for business again. Uh, there are so many small businesses that will never open their doors again be because of this shutdown. Um, I'm proud that I was on the front lines getting small businesses open in our area. Before she won in the June primary, Boebert made headlines opening her restaurant, Shooter's Grill and Rifle back in May, going against Garfield County's stay at home orders. So I took a stand and I opened responsibly. I followed CDC guidelines. I opened at 30% capacity. We had all of the sanitary procedures in place. And uh, you know, I, I was shut down for about a week. But I'm okay with that. Boebert is a close friend of President Trump's re-election campaign. This summer, she's held two events here in Grand Junction with yeah, senior Trump okay. campaign okay. advisor John yeah. Pence and has joined the president and the first family at campaign events, as well as President Trump's Republican National Convention acceptance speech at the White House. I asked Boebert, despite the deeply divided state of Washington politics right now, what issues she believes could bring Democrats and Republicans together in Congress. Our economy is something that we could all agree on. We can all agree that we need a good, strong economy. We need a good, strong military. We don't need to be the world's police fighting an endless war. I think our energy is something that we could all come together on. Republicans get a bad rap when it comes to the environment, uh, and, and I, I don't agree with that. First on the Western Slope, Adrian Thomas, KREX 5 News.
Next week, Adrian will be traveling to Steamboat Springs for an exclusive sit-down interview with Lauren Boebert's Democrat opponent, Diane Mitchbush.